what we're about to do is uh, some in-season data collection here in our Thrive On Technology plot at the Learning Center. To this point, we've taken sweet net samples mostly to sample the Ligus bugs present in the field. Now we're actually about to do a beet cloth sample. And, and the way we do this is with a standard black beet cloth, we'll go down here, shake the plants, sort of beat the, beat the plants over the top of the cloth and count the number of adults and nymphal ligus bugs that we measure in this plot. What we're doing is walking out through here finding a representative part of the field and, and a somewhat random part of the field so that we can uh, stretch our cloth between the rows and we're going to catch most of what comes off these plants. From this, we will get an idea of the number of insects that are present. One adult and six nymphs. Well, now we've, we've taken the beet cloth samples uh, and we're going to transition over to some of the other team members. Joseph Cummins is going to take retention, demonstrate to us how we're doing that. So y'all seen Jay going through the field doing the insect collection in this Thrive On plot. So now this is time for the portion. I'm going to head back towards the vehicles and we're going to do the square retention portion of this plot. For this portion of the plot, we're looking at uh, the top three nodes in the plant, and we're looking at square positions. We're looking at small to medium size um, squares, and we'll go through, we'll bend over, pull the plant back. So this one, it's a little, like this square here is held. So we're looking for any squares that are missing. So this is a missing position. So we're saying that's your square retention, and we missed that one. So that's one. We only count it if we find a missing square. So that's, that's that, and we'll go on. We're doing not technically 25 positions on a plant, but kind of, let's just say, four spots, 25 uh, positions throughout the field, and to equal up to 100 so that we get an easy percentage. So this is um, not the Thrive On. This is an untreated check that we have in the field. Uh, plant bug pressure seems to be a little bit higher today just from after doing the uh, insect collection through the field so far, as well as looking at the retention. It seems to be a little lower in the top three nodes of these plants. Um, plants loaded up really good, but you can tell the pressure is on the rise. So guys, that'll, that'll do it for our retention counts in this plot that I'm in. So now we will go back to the truck. We'll talk to Jay and other guys about what their numbers look like and if there was any treatments that th triggered a spray or what we need to do going forward. Which plot did you look at? Looked at the untreated non-Thrive On. Well, I had the untreated Thrive On and I stepped in your plot and I think you walked out into mine. I did. What do you think? I think there's a visible edge definitely in the Thrive On technology. Now, I don't think that we can say that as a definite until closer to the end of the year. We get a picker in it, box map, it takes more data of that sort. But as of right now, um, it seems to, to be a little better, at least visually. I, I think I'd agree with that. What I looked at just in walking across and checking it like it was a normal cotton field, looking in the Thrive on, it looks to me like the retention is better from top to bottom. How much Great. better is the question? So I think from this point forward, we're going to stop most of this data collection other than taking dirty blooms a couple more times. We're going to finish the year out with our box mapping and machine harvest, and we'll have a bunch of exciting results coming from that. And I would encourage anybody that's been on the tour with us today Stay tuned, we're gonna finish out with a, with a strong set of data. We've got some very exciting and very encouraging results from our Thrive On Technology plots here at Scott in 2020, and we hope to share that with you over the fall and winter.